So hello everybody, welcome to Friday, welcome to Friday's vlog. So today I'm going to do a review on the clothing that I was sent from Santic last December. So I did a video which I'll put a link to somewhere on the screen and I'll put a link in the description to when I unpacked these two items that are hung up behind me. So Santic contacted me. Um, I think back end of November and there were a few emails backwards and forwards asking me if I would like to try some of their clothing and it was where are you, what are your seasons like, what sizes do you think you are etc etc so I said to them that I'm size large I think looking at their, their charts I think I like the look of these two can you send me these please so I think that was basically it anyway but it's, been, it's, a, it's a while ago so that, that has got to be six months ago now now in the UK at that point obviously in the middle midst of winter the two items they sent me weren't really suitable for winter riding we went from winter straight to 18-19 degree riding and summer and all that sort of stuff almost riding so shorts and short sleeves so I wasn't able to try them that much. However, I have worn them on two or three occasions. So the bib tights, as I said before, they haven't got grippers that go underneath your feet. They've not got silicon grippers around the bottom. It is only a thin lycra. It's not a Roubaix type fabric. Um, and I've done a few rides, as I said. They're perfectly warm enough for weather when you would perhaps wear shorts and you'd perhaps consider three quarters. The chamois I've worn for up to a two hour ride and it's comfortable on a two hour ride. Like any new shorts or new bib types or anything like that, it was a little bit slippy on the saddle initially for the first ride or two. That third ride that I did last week was, was fine. So I'll put some pictures in of me wearing this stuff on the ride now now the jersey i'd said i need a large and they've actually sent me a size small i think it's a size small is it at the top hang on i'm gonna stand up so yeah it's an eu size small which is why, as I said when I opened it, it's really difficult to put on. Um, for me, I'd need a medium or a large, I think. So, and I said large, so why they sent me a small, I do not know. It's an Asia size medium, USA and Europe small. It goes on okay, and once it's zipped up, it's, it's okay, but it's not the sort of jersey that you'd want to undo it and zip back up again whilst you're riding along on the road you couldn't do that it's too difficult and if i put it on now for you you'll see that the sleeves are fine that's fine but can you see how far it is there look it does zip up but it because it's stretchy but it's not that easy to zip up the other thing I don't like about it is here in the UK it's got lots of mesh so all this black here is mesh fabric. I love that colour on the inside. So all that is mesh. You probably won't be able to see through. Yeah you can see my hand there. So that's mesh so when you're out on the road and you want to wear a long sleeve jersey because it's a bit cooler the wind blows straight through and it's a bit chilly. So for, for me, this jersey is a bit too cold for the UK weather. If it was the correct size, it would be okay to wear underneath a perfetto wall, underneath a Glibier type product or something that is a bit windproof and a bit, bit warmer. Now, the zip on the back, that zip pocket, that's a nice touch. This has got a nice silicon gripper on the bottom so it doesn't ride up. But for me, being a YouTuber, a vlogger, the centre pocket is okay for my phone. 
that side pocket is no good for me. I can't get my camera in there. So for me, straight off, this is no good. I could wear it underneath as a base layer, but it, it's no good for me. But I love the colour. The colour's great, and I love that inside colour. Now, let's just hang that back up. So would I buy this jersey? No, because the pockets are no good for me, and it's got mesh. So for me in the UK, this is not good. I probably won't end up wearing this. However, the quality is brilliant. I love it. Now, let's turn these the right way around. These are comfortable. So these are probably similar to some looser ones that I used to wear years ago. And again, that little bit of a label there is a nice touch. The sizing is, is fine for me. Um, the purple sort of matches that a little bit, so that's that's okay. The chamois could probably do with being a little bit more padded, but it's it's fine. Um, and it would be nice if it went underneath the foot to keep it in place, so it prevented it um, riding up your leg. It is stretchy enough to be able to pull off without a zip, because it hasn't got zippers in the bottom. But I tend not to wear the thin lycra in a long leg. I tend to put a Roubaix type fabric on once I go to the longer ones. What size is this? Let's have a look what size they sent me here because I did say large again. So it's made in China and they've sent me Asia medium, EU small, USA extra small. But they fit me. So just to recap then on my review of the Santic clothing that I was sent to try. For the UK, here in the UK, the mesh it's too cold, blows straight through. The size is too small for me. I think it's the wrong size, actually. I would have bought a large. And the pockets are no good. They're too small for putting a camera in for vlogging. But apart from that, these products are perfectly fine. Um, how long they last? Longer term? I would think they'd last a good few years because they seem to be good quality. The stitching's good and all that sort of thing. So... Thank you for watching, take care everybody and I will see you in the next one.